Senior BJP leader K.S. Eshwarappa in Karnataka has expressed that he's openly disgruntled with the BJP government. Elections are due, remember, in just a few months in Karnataka and controversies remain in both the Karnataka Congress and on the party we're focusing on right now, the Karnataka BJP. K.S. Eshwarappa has just skipped, as you can see on your screens right now, He's just skipped the assembly session that is currently going on. He's a former state minister and a very senior BJP leader. He's expressed disappointment at not being re-inducted into the cabinet. He's saying he's not going to attend the ongoing assembly session in protest. Remember, just to give you a little bit of context, he'd resigned in April this year after a contractor and a BJP worker, Santosh Patel, had committed suicide and accused Eshwarappa and others close to him of demanding a commission to clear bills for work he'd carried out as a contractor. Very quickly, we want to take you to what K.S. Ishwarappa had to say. Then, we'll connect with the reporter on the story. well, I uh, did uh, read his, uh, I did uh, hear his statement saying that he's ready to be back in the cabinet and the groom is ready but nobody is uh, willing to take the groom. So I think uh, for um, a marriage, both sides should be ready, right? Dula be ready, chona chahi, dulan be ready, chona chahi. Either sir dula ready hai. So dulan jab uh, ready hoge, tab uh, unki shadi hoge. Tab tak to nahi ho paayegi. So that is one thing. But the more important thing is that even when he resigned, nobody batted for him. Now you think they're going to take him back and people are going to sit and bat for her and vouch for him? No. Ishwarappa, ham BJP ka varishth neta hai. किसके बारे में उन्हें बताया मुझे मालूम नहीं उनके साथ हम बात करेंगे ईश्वरप्पा हम बीजेपी का वरिष्ठ नेता है किसके बारे में उन्हें बताया मुझे मालूम नहीं उनके साथ हम बात करेंगे my colleague Ritu is with us right now to bring us more details. Ritu, let's just give the audiences a little bit of context here. K.S. Ishwarappa is such a senior leader that at one point he was also being considered as a possible next chief ministerial face. Now we do know that the current chief minister has said that a cabinet expansion will take place even though you've got elections in less than seven months. What does this signal, beyond just signaling that the BJP obviously is having issues in maintaining party order because K.S. Ishwarappa has come out and made these statements publicly, how else should our audiences interpret these comments? Yes, so you see K.S. Ishwarappa who was uh, you know, a minister basically, RDPR minister, had to step down from his uh, position on uh, April 14th after a uh, contractor Santosh Patil, you know, allegedly committed a suicide. So, and there he had, you know, alleged of, uh, uh, you know, the commission charges that were been asked by the minister and his office bearers. So after that, you know, what takes place you see in the Karnataka is the 40% commission charges and since, uh, since then, till date, you see the uh, Karnataka BJP party is under scanner and each every each and every day Congress party is taking this uh, uh, issue to a next level and raising this often whether it's about uh, in the Congress meetings as well or whether it is in the uh, sessions too. But now that the monsoon uh, sessions are uh, on, you know, the KS Ishwarappa was actually expecting that the party will he'll call him back because he has got the clean shit and police has also not found any solid evidence against uh, the ex-minister and thus he was expecting that he will be called back to the cabinet now wherein you see you know most of the bjp leaders when we tried speaking to them most of the leaders tried maintaining silence on this issue saying that it's to the chief minister baswaraj bomai to decide and put out a word 
But meanwhile, you see, it's the CT Ravi who had said that if KS Ishwarappa had an intention of uh, uh, talking about this whole issue and in, in specifically trying to you know, uh, look out to a single person, the Twati will uh, sit with KS Ishwarappa and discuss this whole issue of what kind of you know uh, uh, issue he is having or what are the other uh, uh, you know related problems too with the party within you know to call back him to the cabin and for now. But yes, therein we'll have to see to what CS, uh, the CM Baswaraj Bomai will react on this whole uh, issue because yes, KS Ishwarappa in fact had crucial points to mention also on the uh, floods because you see the Shiv, uh, Shimoga which happens to be his home district had also been badly affected because of the flood and uh, a heavy downpour. So thus he had some crucial points that he actually wanted to put out to the government but uh, you see what takes place there that he's okay. not been called to the uh, cabinet for the 10 day session and he is thus you know will be missing out on the rest of the days of the sessions too. But yes, okay. uh, KS Ishwarappa, the ex-minister, is disgruntled because he says he's got the clean sheet but the party is not thinking right. about calling him back. But on the other hand, for the state government as well, the 40% commission charges uh, uh, issue has been a very big issue for which they are still facing it, whether it's in the session yes. or for that Ritu, matter from thank the Thank you so much for bringing party. us those details. For our audience